Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again and here I am at school right in front of the building where they're rebuilding it to make it a better school. But I'm posting today because I don't want us to forget about Sister Megan Rice. Uh, you know, she's starting her first week. She's just ended her first week in prison after her sentencing. And I want us, the reason I'm making this video is I want to inspire people to call the White House and demand that President Obama pardon Sister Megan Rice as soon as possible. Uh, it's not a question of asking, it's a matter of demanding. And I'm hoping that this video will inspire 5,000 people to call the White House until, not if, until Sister Megan Rice and her co-defendants have their sentences commuted and Sister Megan Rice is pardoned. She's an 84-year-old nun who went to jail on our behalf. Did she expect to be sentenced to three years in prison as a political prisoner for embarrassing the United States of America for their complete lackluster sense of urgency with protecting the most dangerous material on the entire planet? No. Guarantee you, she did not think that she was going to be sent to jail for three years. They waited around to get arrested. They broke in to the, one of the most dangerous nuclear facilities on their own with a pair of clippers and waited to get arrested. And now, you know, the, I've talked to Christians. The Catholics know nothing about it, ironically. But many Christian people that I've talked to know about it. And you know what they say to me? Oh, God, that's really bad. It's really horrible. What have we turned into? And do any of them call the White House? No. So let's change that paradigm. The phone number to the White House and call even if you're not a United States citizen. Call even if you are not registered to vote. Because even if you're not registered to vote, you're still represented by the President. So, you know, call and call your Congressman, call your Senator and tell them to put pressure on the White House. President Obama is the only person who can commute her sentence at this point. So we need the White House to pardon Sister Megan Rice. And I mean immediately. One more night in jail for Sister Megan Rice is too many nights. That's the way it is. And it's not hyperbole. You have power. Take your lives back. You have power. Take your lives back. It's up to us to make the world a better place. No one's going to do it for us. You know, and really honestly, Sister Megan Rice put her life on the line for every single one of us. She stood up for all of humanity. All of humanity. There's no reason that Sister Megan Rice should be depressed, sitting in a prison cell, feeling like the world has forgotten her when we have not. And that requires that we call until she's freed. And I mean immediately. Not two years from now. Not like Nelson Mandela in 25 fucking years or in three years or two years when she's only got a year left. She needs to be out now. Immediately. She's an 84 year old nun who stood up for American values. It's not about the money, Big Eddie. It's not about selling out, Big Eddie. And I'm talking about Ed Schultz, who I heard on the radio saying these guys are going to sell out on the XL pipeline because it's all about the money, isn't it? Everybody has a price, and that's what happens in America. Fuck you. It's not about the money. It's about integrity and honor and honoring our planet and deciding not to do shit because it's going to harm our children. And Sister Megan Rice stood her ground. They broke into a nuclear facility with backyard wire clippers and waited to be arrested. Waited to be arrested. And did the government let her out while she was waiting to be sentenced? No. They kept her ass in a holding cell for nine months while America forgot about her. Well, I'm not going to forget about her, and I'm going to keep posting videos to remind people. Call the White House. Demand that we free Megan Rice. Talk to all the Catholics you know. Talk to Catholics. I mean, I'm a lapsed Catholic. I'm talking to all the Catholics I know. Most of them know nothing about it. The Christian community knows more about it than we do. That's because they're all teabaggers. And so they're going to do whatever they can to harm America anyways because they think Jesus is coming to get them. And, you know, like... Really, they're hoping. They're hoping that we have a nuclear war because they expect to see Jesus coming in from the sky. 
whatever. You know what I say to that? In the meantime, call the White House and free Megan Rice. Her number is 20, their number, President Obama's phone number is 202-456-1111. If we have 5,000 people calling the White House every week, every week for the next month, and then another 5,000, if at the end of a month's campaign we had 100,000 people calling the White House demanding that we free Megan Rice, she'd be out of jail like that. And that's what we need to get done. You are powerful and we need to take back our power. It, it's a complete insult to everything American that we have jailed an 84-year-old nun as a political prisoner for embarrassing the United States. This is, it's, it's really, it's completely an outrage that I personally, as I go to school, yeah, I'm 58 years old, I get to go to college and get a PhD at this time in my life. What is she doing? She's sitting her ass in jail. For us. I'm not going to forget about her. And I, I implore you, do not forget about her. Because guess what? Sister Megan Rice is you. It could be you tomorrow sitting your ass in jail. For nothing. For standing up for American values. So I, I hope that this video gets passed around. I'm going to mark it for remix. And I hope you remix it. And I hope you... Phone call the White House every day. And if you can't do it every day, at least once a week. I mean, don't be so lazy, for real. Love yourself enough that you're going to call the White House. And if you're not a registered voter, who cares? You still have a right to call the White House. If you're not an American citizen and you see this, who cares? You still have a right to call the White House and demand they free Megan Rice. We need to demand that Megan Rice gets freed immediately because she is us. We are Megan Rice, and every day she stands in prison, we are in prison with her. And let me tell you what, the people who put her there know that. And they're hoping that you will forget about her. And they're hoping that you're going to forget about the plutonium circling around New Mexico and Texas and Oklahoma and Mississippi. And they're going to hope that you forget that there's no drinking water in Charleston right now. And they're going to hope that you forget that BP destroyed the Gulf. And they're going to hope that you forget that Hanford is poisoning the drinking water for Seattle. And they're going to hope that you forget that Bechtel intentionally broke the law up in Hanford and just took the cash and ran with it and dumped highly radioactive contaminated water into the dirt in Hanford, poisoning the entire Northwest. That's a problem. That's a huge problem that we don't have answers for. I got involved in this fight because of Fukushima. And honestly, I was not an anti-nuke activist at all. I knew very little about it. Until May of 2012 when I had a nightmare. I thought it was Hanford on fire and then I discovered, holy fuck, Fukushima has three nuclear meltdowns going out of control. And guess what? They're still out of control. Three complete nuclear meltdowns. Completely out of control. And we're still ignoring it. Sister Megan Rice stood up for us. We need to stand up for her, and we need to continue to stand up for her until we see her walk out of prison with a victory stance, with a peace sign in her hand. Free Megan Rice. Call the White House and demand they free Megan Rice. 202-456-1111.